This is the SS Empress Queen. She was a steel hulled paddle steamer, the last of her type, ordered by the Isle of Man Steam Packet Company. The Admiralty chartered her in 1915 as a troop ship, a role in which she saw service until she ran aground off Benbridge, Isle of Wight. Empress Queen was widely regarded by the authorities as an exceptionally reliable paddle steamer. She had never stopped for weather or engine trouble. However, on the 1st of February 1916, while returning to Southampton from Le Havre with 1,300 men on board, she ran ashore at 0500 hours on the ring rocks off Benbridge, running high onto the rocks on a rising tide. At the time of the grounding, the wind was light and the sea state was calm. Destroyers took off the troops. However, the crew remained on board as efforts were made to refloat the vessel. It was not expected to be a difficult task, but it proved impossible. The weather changed in a matter of hours, a gale blew up. The lifeboat Queen Victoria was launched from the Benbridge lifeboat station to undertake rescue operations. John Holbrook injured his hand while fastening a line to the stricken vessel, but nevertheless made four trips between the ship and shore, rescuing 110 people, and additional nine people were rescued by another ves vessel. Holbrook was awarded the RNLI Silver Medal for his actions. Wind and waves broke up Empress Queen as the seasons passed. She became a familiar landmark to Southampton and Portsmouth shipping. Her two funnels were still visible above the water on Armistice Day. In the following summer, after a long and heavy gale, they finally disappeared. Very low spring tides, just off where the Coast Guard station is, you can sometimes see what looks like the fin of a shark. In actual fact, it's just one of the very last pieces of the Empress Queen poking out through the water. Under the sea is just a twisted mass of broken steel covered in barnacles and seaweed. Every now and then as you scan around, you can see what looks like a recognisable piece of structure, a pipe, a prop shaft perhaps. But even on a calm sunny day as it was, the current was incredibly strong. And I can only imagine what it took to tear this once beautiful paddle steamer to pieces like this. The strength of the sea never ceases to amaze me. Just to finish, this is a beautiful area to snorkel on the ledge. So much wildlife. Thoroughly enjoyed myself on this day.